Hi beautiful people. As you may know, I'll be taking a group of uh, people, friends, uh, pilgrims, uh, clients uh, in the Camino Santiago in May. And uh, the Camino Santiago is a pilgrimage where you walk and walk and you walk a lot. So one of the main uh, concerns, one of the main things that people uh, concern a lot is how the feet will stand so many uh, kilometers without having blisters. Um, these are my tips uh, out of the experience of doing the Camino of Santiago several times and not having a blister. Okay, uh, you'll find so many other theories and ways to avoid it. This is my experience, okay, and what worked for me. So, I have here some. Uh, Notes, I won't forget anything. The first and most important thing is that you walk the Camino Santiago on the shoes that you prepare that. So it's very important that at least minimum a month before you walk the Camino, you um, choose a good shoes to walk it. So I have made a previous video about what are the best uh, shoes for me. Uh, I choose these. This is like trail running shoes. So somewhere here I'm going to put uh, a link to that video so you can, you can um, uh, take a look at that. So the shoes are very important. It's very important that you break those shoes at least, an, an, at least a, a month before and walk on them every day. <laughs> Almost sleep with them, okay? So walk, walk, walk with them, break them. Make sure that they're very soft, they're very uh, adapt to your feet. So I'm going to do uh, an activity in May, the Camino, and uh, this is beginning of February, and I had the shoes already for two, two, two weeks. So, and I'm already walking with them. So I'm doing, uh, for the moment, some light treks, 11 kilometers, eight, nine, walking. So I can feel now that they're adapting to my feet and I'm getting used to them. That's very important. Um, also, to prepare your feet for the activity and to avoid those blisters, it's important that you start. Uh, I always say to, to my people that or to people that are going to do the Camino that you start walking on bare feet inside of your house. Of course, if it's cold, use some socks. But it's important that your feet start to gain strength and some muscles and uh, it's very important to make your feet strong before you do the activity. Um, also before doing the activity it's important that you cut your toenails but avoid uh, to soften the skin of the feet too much because if you soften the skin too much you're making that the skin gets too thin and that might, uh, you might have problems with blisters during the Camino, okay? Now, there's another thing that is also important for, that you can use to prepare your feet. Uh, I don't get commissions about brands, okay? But I work with these brands. So, they are good, I know that they work. <clears throat> so, this one, for instance, it's a preparer. Uh, you can see here and it's a skin preparer it prepares the skin of the, the feet for an activity like the Camino Santiago or if you're a runner and you're going to run I don't know 80k like trail runners or 100k uh, what this does three weeks before you do the Camino you apply it it could be once once a day after you take a shower or you go to bed and it hardens the skin, okay? It's called foot tanning lotion. So it hardens the skin and prepares the skin of the feet for the activity that you're going to do. The other thing already on the Camino and to apply daily, this is an anti-chaffing, it prevents blisters. It also can be used under 
the armpits or uh, in in places that the the friction will make uh, uh, an injury in the skin it's to use daily on the feet best before you do the walk so before I put my socks and my shoes I do a massage with this and this prevents the skin uh, the skin to, to, to create blisters so you see two important creams to, to do the Camino okay so I'll put this here I don't know if you can see it uh, this this one to prepare and this one to use every day now other thing very important I've seen people doing the Camino with this kind of socks okay this doesn't protect anything it doesn't make your feet dry and inside you can find that it has uh, this this kind of things these are the things that provoke and promote blisters on the feet and um, and the people I saw using the, they had huge blisters on the feet that probably they, they couldn't walk anymore so it is very important together with the shoes that you get you get good technical socks okay again I'm not paid to say brand but for me this brand is is the best now if you can see it here it's called X socks and what's so so <sighs> So interesting about these socks. So this sock, you you won't have that in the interior. So it's a sock that is uh, made for runners. Are made. These are for runners. These are for trek trekking, uh, mountain trekking. This is a little bit thicker, and this one is a little bit uh, uh, thin. So it's you can see. Trekking extreme light. Okay, so these socks are made, our technical socks are constructed, designed, projected to be used in extreme um, conditions. And you can see every little, you can then look at the webpage, every little. Uh, thing that they have here, different colors, different textures in one sock has a different goal. Okay, uh, each sock, each pair of socks that you buy, it has two years of guarantee. I remember one of my athletes bought one and he used twice, and they had a little hole on the front. We send it back and they send a new pair of socks so two years of guarantee a lot of technology on these socks and they will protect your feet from getting blisters it keeps your feet dry it protects on, on the places that have more friction like the back like the back you can see here the back is reinforced I don't know if you can see yeah and then also the feet this is all reinforced so to prevent uh, blisters there. Okay, so good socks, good shoes, good cream for the feet, and also it's important. Uh, we have some more tips. One is uh, it's important that you don't take a shower before you walk, so that will prevent your feet from getting wet before you walk. If your feet are wet already when you walk you'll have blisters, okay? So better to have a shower the day before, the night before, than when you walk. When you, before you walk, it's just in your dry feet, you just put your cream, your good socks, good shoes, and you start walking, okay? On the long stages, so for instance, if you do, I don't know, 25 uh, kilometers a day or 30 kilometers a day, like I'm in Santiago, in the middle of the stage, it's good that you stop for half an hour and then you put your you take out your shoes and let your feet dry and breathe a little bit okay this is also why it's important that you have uh, especially in the heat 
months that you avoid boots and especially boots that don't allow your your feet to uh, to breathe uh, i prefer i always prefer a good trailing uh, uh, shoe trail running shoe with gore-tex that allow your feet to breathe so other thing that is also very important is that you um, when you arrive to when you finish the stage when you arrive you take your shower and after that give a good massage with a moisturizing cream or a sweet almond oil something that will moisture and will relax your feet and while you're uh, resting you might consider to use something like this these are tivas they're very very good uh, uh, shoes to allow your feet to dry to rest and and you can you can walk on them when you're not doing the Camino Santiago okay so basically it's this also very important don't forget the weight that you carry on your backpack if you choose to 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 carry a backpack is very important um, if it's too much if you're not used to it it's not only your feet that are going to suffer you might have some tendonitis and uh, your back and everything so uh, travel light that's very important and make sure that you train with your shoes socks and creams and everything and with your backpack make sure that what you do before you go to the Camino is the nearest possible to the Camino experience okay and that's it for today if you have any questions if you like to know more I'll put some links uh, down there if you like the video make sure that you like it and subscribe to my channel so you can know more what I'm cooking okay Take care, bye-bye.